Hello students, welcome to EPG Pathsala. I am Dr. K. Sarabhuji from Department of Bioinformatics, School of Chemical and Biotechnology, Sastra University, Tanjau, Tamil Nadu. Today, we are going to talk on module Biological Databases 2 from paper Bioinformatics. In this module, we are going to focus on primary and secondary structure database of biomolecular structures, human genes and diseases databases, microarray and gene expression databases, metabolic pathways and metabolomic databases and finally the specialized databases and literature databases. First of all, what is the need of a biological database? Nowadays, biology becomes increasingly turned into a data rich science. So, there is a need for strong and communicating large data sets which has grown tremendously. So, which, which necessitate the urgent need of having such a biological databases. For example, the data from the genomics proteomics, metabolomics, experiments and the third dimensional structural information, mass spectrometry analysis results and microarray expression profile results that accumulated largely in the recent days. So, we need to have a more powerful uh, database in order to facilitate them for the scientific community. So, the major objective of biological databases is to keep biological data publicly available for the scientific community and maintain the biological data in computer readable form. Structure database holds primarily the three dimensional structure coordinates of biological macromolecules and small molecules. The aim of structural database is to organize and annotate the structures providing the experimental data to the biological community in a useful way. The structure databases often include three dimensional structural coordinates as well as the experimental information such as quality of the model, resolution, unit cell dimensions, etc. Similar to the sequence databases, the structural databases are also classified as primary, secondary, and composite databases according to the level of curation. Protein Data Bank PDB is the primary database for protein structure information. It holds the three dimensional structure coordinates of biological macromolecules, including proteins, nucleic acids, large peptides, and complexes of proteins and nucleic acids. The Cambridge Structural Database CSD is the only world's repository for small molecules, including organic and metal organic crystal structures determined by X-ray and neutron diffraction techniques. It is maintained at the Cambridge Structural Data Center. So the protein data bank, what we call it as PDB, is the single worldwide repository of information about three dimensional structures of large biological molecules, including proteins and nucleic acids. Protein Data Bank was established in 1971. So, the majority of the structural entries available in Protein Data Bank are determined using X ray crystallography methods, whereas the remaining structures, nearly 18, for example, 18 in percentage of the structure in PDB are from X ray crystallography, and the remaining entries are from NMR spectroscopy as well as electron microscopy experiments. The RCSB Protein Data Bank builds upon the data by creating tools and resources for research and education in molecular biology, structural biology, computational biology. Yes, on December 2016 statistics, the Pure Protein Data Bank holds 125,000 structural entries. The Pure Protein Data Bank is maintained by an international consortium called WWPDB, which is a collaborative effort with Protein Data Bank 
of Europe, what we call it as PDBE and Protein Data Bank Japan and BMRD, which is a biomolecular biological magnetic resonance data bank. In Protein Data Bank, the structural coordinates can be obtained in the unique file format called PDB format, which are restricted to 80 characters per line. In addition, the coordinates are also available in MMCIF, Macromolecular Crystallographic Information File Format and in the XML version called PDB-ML. A typical PDB formatted file includes a large header section of the text that summarizes the experimental setup, refinement details, oligomeric state and biochemical entries such as sequence information and heteroatom groups. Followed by this header information, a long list of three-dimensional coordinates of each protein atom and the heteroatoms are given. We will see more details about the PDB format file in this module. The PDB is the flat file archive. Files are stored in the unique file PDB format. PDB format consists of lines of information in a text file each line is 80 columns wide and terminated by a end of line indicator. Each line of information in the file called record and first six columns of every line describe the record name as shown in the below header. The PDB file generally contains several different type of records arranged in a specific order to describe a structure. For example, title, source, remarks, crest 1 and atoms are some of the record types that you can see in the PDB file. The list of atom records in each polymer chain must be terminated by a ter card. Each file should terminate with a line containing only the word end. The anisotropic records present in the anisotropic temperature factors in the PDB file. Here you can see the record CRIST1 defines the unit cell parameters A, B, C and alpha, beta, gamma, the space group and Z value which indicates the number of polymeric chains in the unit cell. The atom records contains the atomic coordinates for standard residues and the occupancy and temperature factor for each atom. In this sample PDB file that you can see here, the column 1 to 6 describes the uh, record name atom followed by atom serial number, atom name, residue name, chain identifier and the residue sequence number. Whereas column 31 to 54 gives the orthogonal coordinates x, y, z in angstrom units. Followed to this column 55 to 60 and 61 to 66 provides occupancy values and temperature factor values respectively. The graph displays the number of structures deposited in protein data bank per year. In the past, the number of structures in PDB has grown at an approximately exponential rate passing the 100 structures entries milestone in 1982, the 1000 in 1993, the 10,000 in 1999, and 1 lakh in 2014. As per the present release in December 2016, PDB holds 1 lakh 25,000 structural entries. The second graph shows the distribution of resolution of release structures in protein data bank solved by X-ray and electron microscopy methods. Interestingly, majority of the structures in PDB are in the ranges of 1.5 to 2.5 angstrom resolution. However, more than 700 X-ray structures have been deposited in ultra high resolution that is better than one angstrom resolution. Biological Magnetic Resonance Data Bank BMRD is the primary repository for NMR spectroscopy data on proteins, peptides, nucleic acids and other biomolecules. It collects, archive and distributes the important quantitative data derived from NMR studies of biological macromolecules. 
BM RD provides a reference information and maintains the collection of NMR pulse sequences and computer software for biomolecular NMR. So, data format which used in BMRD is the flat file and data exchange format which is based on self-defining text archival and retrieval what we call it as a star format. So, in addition to the structural coordinate structural information the NMR I mean BMRD data can also handle the data I mean the experimental data something like NMR spectral parameters like chemical shifts coupling constant time domain data and relaxation data or on T1 or to T2 data or kinetic data something like hydrogen exchange and chemical rates data and thermodynamic data which, which, which talks about the binding constant and pKa values. Here you can see the sample BMRD entry page which shows the overview of the entry with BMRD unique access and number as well as with the PDV ID. The BMRD entry page gives the details of the sample source, sequence and provides the direct access to various data sets such as chemical shift, coupling constants, relaxation data. At the same time, BMRD facilitates the visualization option of the chemical shift data, distance restraints, torsion angle restraints and NMR experimental data plots using DEB. At the same time, BMRD facilitates the visualization options of chemical shift data, distant restraints, torsion angle restraints and NMR exponential data plots using device interactive data visualization tool and JMOL programs. Electron microscopy data bank EMDB collects three-dimensional EM maps and associated experimental data determined using electron microscopy of biological specimens. Electron Microscopy Data Bank was established in 2002 at the European Bioinformatics Institute EBA. As of December 2016, the resource contains over 4,300 entries with the mean resolution of 15 angstrom. In addition to atomic models, Electron Microscopy Data Bank holds the software tools, data standards and validation method related to 3D electron microscopy. Electron microscopy data bank covers with variety of techniques including single particle analysis, electron tomography and electron crystallography. Electron microscopy data bank is an archive for two dimensional density maps of all types of biological assemblies including ribosomes, chaperons, polymerase, multifunctional enzymes and viruses. The Cambridge Structural Database was established in 1965 it is the only world's repository for small molecules, organic and metal organic crystal structures determined by X-ray and neutron diffraction techniques. It is maintained at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center CCDC. Structures deposited with CCDC are made publicly available for download at the point of publication or at concern from the depositor. The CSD is both a repository and an extensive validated and curated resource containing the three-dimensional structural data over 8 lakh entries. The graph shows here the exponential growth of CSD and the red bar here is the annual growth of CSD entries. For each structural entry in CSD, there are three distinct type of information stored which includes bibliographic information, chemical connectivity information and the three-dimensional coordinates. A set of specialized programs developed at CCDC enable searching of the database and the statistical analysis and visual display of results and structures. So if you talk uh, as like the sequence databases, in the structural databases also we can derive some useful information uh, from the primary structural databases. So, the content of primary structural data can be analyzed with many different objectives and the outcomes forms 
in principle, the derived database, which provides more essential content for computational biology studies. For example, developing computational methods to analyze important biological insights like function and structure prediction, evolutionarily identifying evolutionarily conserved patches and identifying structural similarities among the particular uh, protein families. For example, here we can able to here we can able to talk about some of the important uh, derived protein uh, structure databases. For example, SCOP, CAT, FSSP, they are the secondary or derived databases which are primarily uh, aim to classify the three-dimensional structure of protein and structural biology knowledge base top scan or the database which primarily holds the structural uh, genomics outcomes in addition to the structural uh, i mean the coordinate information it also provides the experimental details which uh, which were utilized in the structural genomics initiatives and conserv and prosite they are important uh, functional i mean they talks about the functional regions about the proteins and swiss model and the mod base are the databases which, which, which works on protein models and, and, and helpful to understand the interactions that present in the protein structures. And PDBSM is the visualization source and biological, uh, what is called a BMCD, what is called a biological macromolecule crystallization database, which contains the essential information about protein, I mean protein crystallization, about protein crystallization conditions and all. So these secondary or derived databases provide a valuable information in order to understand various important biological issues and perform experiments and further experiments something like uh, crystallization and visualization and understanding interactions something like that structural classification of protein database scope is a derived type of database of protein data bank the structural classification of entire data available in protein data bank is important because it organizes the protein structures that is independent of sequence similarity which facilitate the functional annotation. Structures are classified by their secondary structure content and how they are arranged. Scope and CAT are two widely used gold standard classification method to benchmark novel protein structure comparison. The scope, the structural classification of protein the database provides a detailed and a comprehensive description of structural and evolutionary relationship between all the proteins whose structure is unknown it was developed at the laboratory of molecular biology in cambridge university the classification of protein in scope is created by manual inspection and also supported by a set of automated methods on hierarchical levels of class common fold superfamily protein domains and species the class is derived from secondary structure content whereas the fold is derived from topological connection orientation arrangement and number of secondary structures superfamily is the clusters of low sequence similarity but related structures and functions and the family clusters that based on sequence similarity which are greater than 30 percentage with similar structure and function scope provides a broad survey of all known protein folds detailed information about the close relatives of any kind of particular protein and a framework for future research classification yes for the recent statistics scope classified 71000 structures out of 110000 total protein entries CAT is a protein structure classification based on semi-automatic hierarchical classification of protein domains developed by University of University College London. CAT is a classification of PDB protein structures based on class, architecture, topology and homologous superfamily. Here the architecture denotes high structural similarity but no evidence of homology which is equivalent to the fold level in scope. In particular, the domain identification and subsequent hierarchical classification in CAT utilizes manual and automated procedures in which the protein domains are grouped into superfamilies. The latest version of CAT database has 26 million protein domains classified into 2738 superfamilies. Note that the process in CAT pipeline has more automatic steps and less human intervention 
compared to scope. But there are essential differences between these two classification schemes due to their way of separating proteins into domains. CATH more focused towards structural classification, whereas scope plays a major consideration towards evolutionary relationships. The FSSP is fold classification based structure structure alignment of protein. The FSSP database is based on excessive all against all 3D structure comparison of protein structures available in protein data bank. A database of structurally superposed proteins generated using DALI algorithm which works based on distance matrix alignment. The classification alignment are automatically maintained and continuously updated using DALI search engine. FSSP is a fully automated classification. FSSP database is accessible electronically on the world wide web or by using autonomous FTP. In addition to the PDB depositions, structural genomics databases facilitates immediate access to new structures as well as information about reagents such as targets, host, clones, protein which are derived from various structural genomic initiatives. Structural genomics or protein structure initiative aims to study the three-dimensional structure of all the proteins encoded in the corresponding genome. So, these structural genomics databases aims to make these structures widely available for clinical and basic studies that will expand the knowledge of the role of proteins both in normal biological process and in disease. For example, SBKB Structural Biology Knowledge Base of Protein Structure Initiative and TopScan are most popular databases which provide the up-to-date of developments of both structural genomics initiative and structural biology. These databases are updated weekly for latest structures, models, targets and annotation from over 100 different data sources. Be aware that human diseases cannot be accredited to a single gene but originates due to complex interaction among multiple genetic variations and environmental risk factors. So, the gene disease database were developed to study the underlying mechanisms of complex diseases by understanding multiple composite interactions between phenotype-genotype relationships and gene disease mechanisms. In this perspective, Human Genome Organization's Gene Nomenclature Committee that is HGNC sets the standards for human gene nomenclature and also gene ontology project was also initiated towards the consistent descriptions of gene products across the databases. Gene ontology describes the controlled vocabulary terms, cellular component, molecular function and biological process for describing gene product characteristics and gene product annotation data. NCBI's OMIM and gene cards are the popular gene disease databases. OMIM Online Mendelian Inheritance in Man is a comprehensive authenticative compendium for human genes and genetic phenotypes. It is continuously updated catalog of human genes and genetic disorders and tariffs with a particular focus on the gene phenotype relationship. Gene cards has the information of human genes that provides comprehensive genomic, proteomic, transcriptomic, genetic and functional information on all annotated and predicted human genes. The gene cards database provides access to more than 7000 all known human genes and integrated from more than 90 data resources such as HGNC database, Ensemble and NCBI. CTD and IGDD are other example of gene disease database. CTD, the comparative toxicogenomic database, 
helps to understand the effects of environmental compounds on human health by integrating data from curated scientific literature. CTD provides manually curated information about chemical to gene or protein interaction, chemical to disease and chemical to disease association to eliminate molecular mechanisms underlying environmentally influenced diseases. Further, these data are integrated with functional and pathway data. IGDD is an Indian genetic disease database which is curated repository of mutation data on common genetic disease affecting the Indian population. The present version of IGDD database covers more than 100 diseases with information on more than 6000 individuals carrying the mutant alleles of casual genes. Information on locus heterogeneity, type of mutation, clinical and biochemical data, geographical location and common mutations are also available based on the literature. Next we will talk about microarray and gene expression databases. Gene expression patterns are essential to make disease prediction for example to identify various cancer types and to elucidate basic gene expression biology. Databases are peer reviewed. So here this microarray gene expression database is also peer reviewed and possess the microarray gene expression data manage a searchable index and make the data available to other application for analysis as well as for further interpretations. For example, here we can see GEO is the functional genomics data repository which archives and distributes the microarray, NGS and other forms of high throughput functional genomics data which is a part of NCBA portal. Array Express is a public gene expression database designed to hold the data from high throughput functional genomics experiments which is available at European Bioinformatic Institute. The Expression Atlas which is also part of European Bioinformatics Institute which provides gene expression pattern under different biological conditions such as gene knockout. Expression Atlas includes both microarray as well as RNA seq data. Microarray database NCA MADB, which, which is a system, microarray database system, hosts the National Cancer Institute data with integrated analysis and statistical tools. So, next we look at uh, metabolic network pathways. Pathway based computational and experimental studies provide a significant biological knowledge concerning three major types of biological pathway events. For example, signaling pathway database, cytokinin and cell online pathfinder encyclopedia, what we call it as a COPE, and signal transduction knowledge environment strike are these are uh, all the databases which primarily aims to understand the molecular signaling pathway and the transcription factor database, microRNA database, prokaryotic database of gene regulation which primarily address the gene regulation pathway and the popular KIG uh, database, Kaito what we call it as a Kaito encyclopedia of genes and the genomes and expansive biochemical pathway genome linked application for metabolic metabolo, metabolic uh, maps uh, glamm are these are the pathways these are the databases which primarily aims on the metabolic uh, pathways and metabolomic database is an another important uh, resource before that what is a metabolome metabolome is a set of low molecular weight compounds in a sample such as cell tissue organ or organisms which are the end product of the cellular process and the metabolomics primarily aims to quantitative gives the quantitative measurement of the dynamic multi-parametric metabolomic response of the living systems there are so many uh, databases which deals about the metabolomic uh, information for example human metabolomic database yeast metabolomic database e coli metabolomic database 
and the metabolic database of tandem mass spectrometry data and finally the me metabolic database for soya beans which talk about the soya beans metabolic behaviors so there are so many metabolic uh, databases that yeah, that emphasize the urgent need of having these kind of specialized databases the specialized databases focus on the analysis of a particular aspect of bioinformatics or on to particular target that is specialized databases are the ones focus on one topic of interest such as an organism in particular or a protein in particular or on a disease or based on a physiochemical property further many specialized databases concentrates on the specific families or group of proteins like focusing only on transmembrane proteins or sugar binding proteins like that here you can see some of the examples of such specialized databases which are classified in different categories human genome resource mouse genome database and eukaryotic promoter database are developed based on the specific organisms whereas RFAM, MIR base, microRNA, SNOW RNA DB, RNA central are some common RNA specific databases. Antibody central and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS data browser are the databases developed based on the function or on specific diseases. Protein thermodynamic database, ProTherm, and protein uh, dynamics database. Are developed based on physiochemical property of the molecules. Biological knowledge is distributed among many different general and specialized databases. In addition to the databases deal with the experimental data such as sequence, structure and expression profiles, the literature databases were developed to provide information about finding suitable databases, bibliographic information, finding books and journal articles. PubMed is a major portal, comprises more than 26 million citations for biomedical literature from Medline, Life in Journals and online books. Citations may include links to full text content from PubMed Central or publishers websites. The database issue of nucleic acid research is an important resource for finding biological databases. The database issue is freely available and categorized mainly the publicly available online databases related to biology and bioinformatics. The biological abstracts is a complete collection of bibliographic references covering life sciences and biomedical research literatures published from more than 4,300 international journals published since 1926. It also covers proceedings of the meetings and conferences, U.S. patterns. So, students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Biological databases of three-dimensional structure, gene and gene network information, and the important resources or the important resources to understand the biological process at its most basic level. There are two common concepts of biological databases, primary and secondary databases. So, so uh, based on our discussion, I hope you understood Protein Data Bank, BMRD, EMDB and CSD are the primary structural databases which hold only one type of specific data. The secondary databases often already process or analyze the data matching the corresponding request to get the new results so the databases of specific type like gene expression data metabolic pathways and the analysis tools facilitate much more detail about the particular molecule and the bio biological phenomena so today the huge number of both general and specialized databases are available for any Task. So, in order to obtain the better results, we already uh, we need to uh, use we need to access multiple databases and try to get the concurrent results 
to in, to ensure the authenticated uh, uh, results so the biological databases includes incomplete information as well and the data i mean the, these data spread through multiple databases and there will be a data redundancy and there may be some experimental errors i mean the data may be stored with some errors and there may be poorly updated uh, databases as well there i mean which are available so we need to have we need to be aware when we choose the particular biological database for our purpose thank you